My name is Dennis Herning and I'm from Billings, Montana. I will be your judge tonight. I do have some letters after my name for whatever that means. I do have an APSA from PSA, which is for recognition of uh, service to PSA and, and volunteering for things like this and other volunteer jobs throughout PSA. My current position is uh, chairman of the projected image division. I also have my MPSA, which means that I have spent a lot of money entering exhibitions. One thing that I noticed in many of your images is that when I looked at the histograms for an image, there was a lot of space on the right side. This gave the image a muddy look. It could easily have been solved by moving the sli right slider a little to the left or else uh, in levels or else doing something in curves. Something else that I like to do is add a very slight vignette so that the viewer doesn't really notice it, but it will still draw more attention to your subject instead of allowing the eye to creep off to the side somewhere. I also will mention cropping quite a few times. I use a Canon 40D and 7D, and I found that there's no problem cropping away a good portion of the image if I'm going to use it for something like projection in this contest or something similar. It might not be usable for a print, but otherwise it seems to work very well. When I judged your contest, I took four things into consideration. Technique, impact, composition, and how I felt it met up with a, your theme of up in the air. Enough of the general stuff. On to your images. Beginner. Floating on the air. I do like the way that the smoke is streamed in a diagonal line and leads your eye to the subject. Contrast between the yellow in the parachute and the blue sky works well. It does not appear sharp to me. It could be that the shutter speed was not high enough to stop motion caused by hand holding it with the camera zoomed in on the moving subject. I would also like to see the subject moving towards you instead of away. 10 points. A good catch. Good action shot. I like the way you caught it with the ball just before it went into the mitt. The blur of the ball helps to show the action. I do find the bright sign to be a distraction. The eye naturally goes to the lightest portion of the image, and if this is along the edge, it gives the eye an escape from your subject. I try to crop this into a vertical format to get rid of the sign. It also looks like it could benefit from some sharpening. 10 points. Dallas, Texas, USA. This does uh, look like a good take on the theme of your contest. I like the angle. Having an odd number of flags for the subject adds interest. The cloud detail is good. Overall, it seems like the meter on your camera might have been fooled by the brightness of the clouds and underexposed the image. 11 points. Faithfully up in the air. I really like the rainbow that you have. It sets your image apart from the normal shot of Old Faithful. This is one that could maybe benefit from a slight adjustment to the histogram. You might consider cropping a little off on the right side. This would move the geyser closer to the center. 11 points. Old Glory by Debbie Kennard. You have filled the frame nicely with just your subject. I might have liked to see all this sky along the left side. The colors with the blue sky give a lot of impact. Here again, I would have liked to have seen the subject moving toward the camera instead of away from it. 12 points and an honorable mention. Enjoy the Weather by Joyce Mangum. I really like the low angle that you used. Without that, it wouldn't have fit the theme at all. The Red Sox really give an eye a place to go and it adds a lot of impact. I might uh, crop down from the top so the tire goes out of the corner. 12 points, third place. the shaft. Great idea. If it would have been possible, you might have moved a little to your right to center the top of the shaft from right to left in your image. This would have the cables moving straight up to the top instead of at a little diagonal. This could benefit from a little more exposure. 12 points in second place. Lofty Daydream by Lula Warren. Great shot. The depth of field and sharpness throughout are excellent. The macro lens works well for you. I wasn't sure about what was in the eyes. I asked my daughter if she could, uh, if it could be some kind of weighted contact lens with hearts at the bottom. She finally realized that it was hot air balloons being reflected in the eyes. There are several tiny black specks, especially on the nose, that could have been cloned out. 13 points, first place. 
over NOLA or NOLA, it certainly looks like there's something up in the air. You have good exposure and while it appears that fill flash was used, it is not at all overpowering. I would like to see a definite subject to look at. It could be that whatever everyone else is looking at or maybe just one of the expressions on one of the persons there. I would like to see a faster shutter speed to stop all the motion in all of the people. You could have increased your ISO to achieve this. 10 points. Bubbles. You have a good exposure. The use of an odd number of subjects adds interest. I would have liked to have seen the bubbles in focus, especially the one in front of the center boy's face. Focusing on that bubble might have worked. It wouldn't matter if the background was out of focus. 10 points. Cloud bank above New Orleans. That is an interesting bank of clouds. The sun and upper clouds and the color also add interest. You could use a little more exposure to draw attention to the lower cloud bank. It wouldn't hurt to straighten the horizon line. It isn't easy to get a good shot through most plane windows. 10 points. High skies in Texas at the State Fair. This does give the feeling that everything is big in Texas. At first I thought the cowboy was actually hanging, but I did finally notice that there's what is probably a pedestal under his feet. Figures below do help show the size of the statue. It appears like there are two subjects, the cowboy and the ferris wheel separated by the light pole. My eye keeps bouncing back and forth between the two of them. 10 points. Raising the city. I like the way the top figure is framed by the four cables. In a monochrome image, I like to see something white and something black, plus the other tones throughout. The histogram shows that uh, there appears to be nothing that is actually white. 11 points. Guardian. There is good exposure and good action shown here. It appears to be sharp throughout. I might crop on both sides, make it more of a vertical image, since the sky really doesn't seem to add anything on the edges. You might be able to increase the vibrance to bring out more blue in the sky. 12 points. Sunbeam on the monument. The white monument contrasts well with the clouds. You have your subject well placed. I would think that this would really be a good spot during the cherry blossom season. You might try darkening the midtones a little to bring out more detail in the white of the monument. 12 points. Apollo 14. I do like the looks of this. The lighting on the sides is great. I don't know if there was a light out in the center, but if there wasn't a light at all, a little flash might have helped. The bright areas of both sides make it difficult for the eye to stay on your subject. I would like to have seen all of the bottom portion. 12 points. Life of the beach party. This was a great time of day for this. The shadow detail is great. I like the detail in the clouds and waves. I might like to see the subject hitting a volleyball or something to show why he was jumping in the air. 13 points. Over land, on sea, and in the air. I like the three elements that you have to each support your scene. The moving bird is very sharp. The color in the umbrella and in the background person could be considered a distraction. You might consider trying a monochrome with this. 13 points. Up in the Air by Valerie Johnson. The use of color gives us great impact with the blue contrasting with the red and yellow. The lighting is great. The wing is well placed and the red points the eye back into the frame to keep you from following the wing on out. 13 points in an honorable mention. No higher. Good action shot. It's sharp and maybe could use a little less depth of field to blur the background. Brighter colored clothing would also help draw the eye towards your subject and give it more impact. The eye naturally goes to a lighter portion of the image, so it might add slight vignette to round it to, to keep it in the center. 13 points, an honorable mention. Seagull with snowflakes. I'm not sure if those are snowflakes or water drops. It is well set off from the background and the eye goes right to the bird. The shallow depth of the field uh, keeps the background from competing with your subject. It does appear that it might be a little over sharpened. I might tone down the green area in the lower right corner. 14 points, third place. This is by Ron Lynn. Taking a selfie at Bryce Canyon. This is a great action and was caught just at the right time. Looks like it could be dangerous. I would have liked to have seen this with a larger lens and I'm sure that you probably wish you had one on at the time. Don't be afraid to crop this severely if you're only going to use it for projecting or on a website. Your camera can handle it. This is by Charlie Henkel, 14 points, second place. Bar Mitzvah Levitation by James Edward. Great shot. Really shows that it is up in the air. It's a, quite an eye catcher. I like the way the hands are positioned and the expression on your subject. It has good monochrome tones throughout. I would uh, have liked to have seen him centered in the picture frame and
flown out the lamp on the left side. Great shot. First place, 14 points. Advanced. Reach for the sky. You have interesting color in the sky with the sunset. The cactus is well placed out of the center of the frame. I might have cropped the lighter, lighter area at the top since uh, that kind of draws your eye away from your subject. Since you used Elements 10, you could have used Levels to do some tweaking with this. You can Google Levels Elements 10 to find a program that uh, goes into this on YouTube. If you are using something else, and try looking for your own version in photo editing. 11 points. It's a great monochrome image. I like the effect you have with what might be a luminance increase. It's an interesting scene. It does show the theme of the contest, but the papers are overwhelmed by the detail of the foreground. The eye is drawn to the lower right by the brighter tones there. If it wasn't for the theme, I would like to see more of the foreground, and even though it would take away some from the sky. If you look at your histogram, there's a lot of empty space on the right, so you don't have uh, real true whites as you could have. It's still a good shot. 12 points. Young Love. I really like the little bit of color that is added by each of the couple's shoes. They look like they are really enjoying each other. I would like to see it from a different side so I could see the face of the girl. Usually, who cares about the guy? It's always about the girl. The bright sun is causing a lot of contrast, and it might be a little bit better if you could uh, eliminate that somehow, like if you had used a fill flash or something. 12 points. Let's go fly a kite. It's a great pose, and I like the, the composition with the woman down on the one side and the kite in the other corner. I would like to see what it would look like if you could catch the woman's feet off the ground, or if uh, maybe you had even laid down when you took the picture. It looks like you're on kind of a hill, and... Maybe she could be up at the top of the hill and you wouldn't have the trees in the background, just the grass in the foreground. The histogram does show that it could use some adjustment, which would add some pop to the image. 12 points. Cloud. This is a very impressive cloud formation. The backlighting on it is great, and the storm in the middle of it really adds to the image. I would like to see the whole formation of the cloud in the frame. It would be possible you might have been able to move to the left so the tree wouldn't have been included. I am a little bit distracted by the halo around that tree. In the clouds, I'm just assuming that's backlighting, but it might also be kind of a halo from doing the adjustments. 12 points. Mom, watch me. The wide angle accentuates the height, and, and especially when you've shot with such a low angle. You've got good exposure, and the contrast between the warm and the cool colors works well. I might cut off the cars on the bottom, leaving the trees to form a complete frame around the girl. 13 points. High Rise Explorer by Bud Barlow. It's a great idea. The reflection adds to the reality. You did a great touch of trying to show the shadow side of the woman. I'm not sure about the effect that uh, was used on the reflections. The multiple col colors in the lower left and top right seem to take away from the reality. It was difficult to work with that uh, reflection too. There seems to be some difference between it and the reflection of the buildings. 13 points and honorable mention. Of the windows on the right hand side, the way it's bowed there kind of draws my attention away from the actual abstract of the reflections. 13 points, honorable mention. This is by Brian Prestamon, by the way. To run or not to run, time will tell. I like seeing the boys positioned so they are looking into the image. The ball does add interest even though it looks like it has been added after the fact. I don't think that the second baseman would have caught the ball if, with his ball up like that if the ball was actually coming to him. Uh, this is by Karen Cheney, 14 points, second place.
the wings are placed close to the top one third of the line. About the only thing that I might do if this was mine would be to add a slight, a noticeable big net. Uh, 14 points, first place. Walking on air, <clears throat> your subject is well positioned. There's some tension shown by the subject being a little off balance on the wire. I would like to see less depth of field so the background would be more out of focus and the sharpening or clarity setting seems to add to the distraction of the background. 10 points. How does he do that? It is interesting how the one bird is watching the other one, and I like the slight vignette that you've added. Here again, there's a lot of room on the right side of the histogram. It gives the image a little muddy look. I might try cropping off of both sides. I know that it is a no-no in nature, but I would be very tempted to remove all the birds that are flying around and that are out of focus and just specks. It looks more like dirt spots than actual birds. 11 points. Grand Canyon Star Trails. I like the star trails. I'm glad that you included the polar star in with it. Sometimes you get just a side view and it just streaks going across the sky. I'm glad that you tried to add some interest in the foreground, but I'm not sure about the color of the water. For a night shot with no visical light source, I would have gone with a cooler color such as the shades of blue. It does appear that you clipped the color from another in image since the reflections don't line up uh, with anything up in the sky. 11 points. Skywalker. I find it interesting to see the Canadian flag above the U.S. flag, especially since this came from a long ways away from Canada. I do like the positioning of the figure and the flags in your frame. At first, I thought your meter might have been thrown off by the white area of the sky, but I see that you were shooting in manual. Looking at the histogram, the highlight slider could have been moved quite a bit to the left. This would have given you a lot more pop. 11 points. Glad I was on the cliff top, not the harbor wall. That's quite a title. It's probably too long to work if you enter this in an international exhibition. You've got great wave action. This is a great picture for a monochrome. I would like to see the water around the edges be burned in so that it would draw more attention to the action of the wave on the wall. The impact of the wave is somewhat lost in the water around it. 12 points. Courtship dance jump with snowball. This is well positioned in the frame to give the bird the landing room. I would have liked to have seen the horizon line a bit lower so that uh, you wouldn't have so much of the subject right next to the white snow. It's still a good shot. I don't remember if I've ever seen a, a crane throwing a snowball like that. 12 points. color shows that it is probably late afternoon or evening. It would be easy to say that you could have risked being yelled at by the flight attendant and unbuckled your seatbelt, so you could have raised the skyline in the window and maybe not on the back of the seat, so you could have moved the passenger closer to the window in your frame. But this scene didn't last long enough for all of that to happen. I would like to see a little more detail in the other passenger. You might have tried a little wider view and cropped down to this view to bring the passenger more into focus and not lose any of the sharpness out the window. 12 points. Surf kites at Kailua Beach. It's a good arrangement of colorful kites. I might have considered cropping off some of the left even to get rid of some of the sky that doesn't have any interest in there even though cords of uh, one of the kites is visible. It could also be brightened a little in levels or curves. I would like to have some stronger subject and I'm not sure just what it would be in this if, so that I'm not looking at all of the kites but at one in particular with the others kind of supporting it in the image. 13 points. Jump for joy. Great action. I like the contrast of the red against the blues. I might even try a, the lower camera angle to move the horizon out of the middle. 13 points. Flying Dancer. This is a good pose and it is sharp throughout. The black hair contrasts well with the white skins. You've also got two good tones throughout the image. I might have cropped off on the right-hand side so the knee was about as close as the toes are on the other side. Uh, that would put the body in kind of the rule of thirds there. 13 points. there is more room to fly into. 
I think you could have also included more sky above the plane as well. Looks like there's more interesting clouds up there than below the plane. Too bad the wheels weren't tucked all the way up, but I guess you can't have everything. 13 points and honorable mention. On Her Own Cloud by Russell McGuire. The muted colors is a nice touch. I do like the placement of the dancer with the shadow behind her. Many times you want room in front so that your subject can move into it, but this is one of the cases where you wouldn't since you have the great shadow behind her. I'm a little bothered by the shadow below the foot. It does take away the feeling that she is floating. I would also like to see more room at the top of her fingers. 13 points and an honorable mention. Rising Above by Dennis Fritch. I really like the way that you have captured the whole tree without any trees in front to distract from it. The other trees seem to make the this one even taller than it is. The angle fits well with the theme of the contest. This is one case where the rule of thirds uh, should have been broken as you have. 14 points in second place. Fireworks by Linda Grigsby. You were lucky to get so many shots going off in the same place in the sky with your relatively short.